Claude d'Argent by Christian Dior is one of my very favorite fragrances to smell on other people. And I say this because two of my very favorite friends in the whole wide world both wear Bois d'Argent. They don't know each other. One's a guy, one's a girl. Um, but it smells amazing. I'm almost tempted to get it myself, but then I associate it with them, so I want to keep smelling it on them. It's based around myrrh. It's all about woods and myrrh. And myrrh is the star of Bois d'Argent. It's a very ancient resin. It's been used in perfumes since, you know, Old Testament times and way, way, way before that. And the thing that I love about myrrh is that I have no real reference points for it in my everyday real life. There's just nothing that I come across uh, in Southern California that smells like myrrh. Um, it's a sweet, spicy resin and the best way that I can describe it is to say it smells like a cross between pine sap and root beer. So it's very, very aromatic. Uh, Bois d'Argent also features uh, iris and patchouli and um, the whole thing comes together with the with in secret ingredient X, which probably isn't that much of a secret because I know about it, which is a smoky honey. And the honey is what gives it a sweetness, but in a very animalic way, not in a sugary cotton candy kind of way. So all of these qualities, all of these raw ingredients together give you something that resembles um, kind of a milky leather. And uh, it's very enigmatic and it's very enveloping. I just, I just love it so much. A um, little interesting fun fact about Bois d'Argent is that it was created by perfumer Anique Menardo and she also created something that smells kind of similar, definitely a sibling to Bois d'Argent, which is Dior Hypnotic Poison. And I know a lot of you who watch Katie Puckard Smells loves their hypnotic poison. And um, the two definitely have that uh, enveloping, enigmatic, dark woodsiness to it. Although hypnotic poison is, um, features the, the dark fruits, the, the plummy, the kind of stewed plum thing. And Bois d'Argent leans much more dry, doesn't have that fruit thing, but is warm and, and um, very involving to wear. I think, I always think involving when it comes to those sort of fragrances, because people just want to kind of get involved with you. They, you know, either just physically, they get closer to you, they want to stick their nose in, in whatever business is wafting off of you. So that's not such a bad thing. You can always just karate chop them out of the picture if you don't want them nosing around for too much longer. Uh, one of the things that's great about Bois d'Argent is that it's not pitched towards men or women. You can get it at, um, I think, the Dior uh, boutiques. And it's 198.5% a shared fragrance. So that means both men and women can enjoy it. Hooray! I'm Katie Puckrick, and I smell. <laughs> Sure as number five.